Happy Friday, North Central College. This is your weekly update. I'm your host, Michael Griffin. Let's wrap up the week. For our first story this week, last Friday, Major League Baseball star Albert Pools hit his 700th home run. This is only the fourth time in Major League Baseball history that a player has hit 700 home runs in their career. And this, and this actually comes off the heels of his announcement that 2022 would be his final season. This is notable to North Central College students and alumni as former WONC sports announcer Wayne Randazzo had the privilege to call the game. For a full story on this, go check out the Chronicle's very own sports editor, Sam Corbett's article on WONC.org. Next up, staying here on campus, continuing the celebration of homecoming this week here at North Central, the Week in Programming Board it hosted its annual Couchathon on Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Students spent the night participating in fun activities to win their team a ticket to their desired event, along with it spending the entire night on Jefferson Lawn on their own couches. Be sure to check out your email for further activities and other events happening on campus this weekend. Moving down to Florida now, Hurricane Ian did make landfall on Wednesday afternoon on Florida's southwest coast near Tampa Bay. The storm made landfall just after upping its strength to a Category 4 overnight Tuesday night with sustained winds of 150 miles an hour. President Biden preemptively approved a state of emergency call for the state of Florida, unlocking billions in federal aid for recovery in the coming weeks. Heading back to space, NASA successfully guided their DART mission into an asteroid. This was a test done by NASA in the name of planetary defense to see if they could potentially divert a path of an incoming asteroid if it were to be on a collision course with Earth. Preliminary data is showing that when NASA's unmanned spacecraft made contact with the asteroid, it slowed the orbit of the asteroid by about 1%. While there was never any threat that this asteroid could collide with Earth, this test has shown that given the right power and size of spacecraft, this could be a viable solution if a, the situation ever does arise. For our last story this week, Italians went to the polls to vote for a new government on Sunday. After the dissolution of the Italian parliament uh, over the summer, voters had the opportunity to reform the government of Italy. Results elevated the Brothers of Italy party to power along with the new prime minister, Giorgia Maloney. The coalition made up of center-right representatives is led by the Brothers of Italy party, which has its roots in neo-Nazism, and has been deemed the most far-right government since Mussolini's government during World War II. In an attempt to unify the country, though, Maloney said that she would govern for all of Italy and has rolled back some of the more far-right stances from within her party. That is all for this week. Please come back next week as we recap the largest stories throughout campus and our world at large. Have a great week, Cardinals.